another way that you can store your food in an out sack, animal resistant storage bag, is to take your bag, and this can be done, you don't have to put it inside a nylon bag, but it's, it's helpful. Um, ravens, it just slows down their beak if they're gonna come after it. They're not gonna be able to get it in between those, those links in the mesh and try to open it up. But what we're gonna do here, I hope you guys are gonna be able to see this. Um, we're just gonna stuff this in here. I'm gonna pick you back up in a minute and you're gonna come with me. Stuff this guy inside this bag right here. Seal them up so no one can walk on in there. I don't know if you guys are seeing me seal this or not. But I'm just wrapping the cord around the top of this bag. It's just sealing this guy off. And this will help with the ants. This will help with any little ground insects that you don't necessarily want climbing inside your bag because the mesh doesn't do much for that. Oh, gotta get you around there. Shunk. All right, tight. All right, let's go for a walk together, folks. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the base of this juniper, come around the other side here, and we're gonna take this bag and we're just gonna put them up underneath it. Um, this does give access to rodents but ravens can't get up inside that tree to go after that bag. They'd have a real hard time. Rodents, of course, can get at it, but the mesh is gonna prevent them from getting at your food. Another good way to store your food if you're in an area that you can't find a crevice or a rock to shove a pole in or a tree to shove a pole in. We don't encourage anyone to hang directly from a tree, um, especially one that is living. All trees down here do provide shade. And uh, we want that shade to be here for the next group of hikers that come down. Uh, so do respect the environment and be nice to the trees while you're down here.